Uh, so my name is uh, Dr. Mark Grew. I'm an associate professor in the UNBC School of Planning and Sustainability. And uh, the reason we're out here today is uh, we're connecting with Access BC and Parks Canada and we're demonstrating uh, an accessibility auditing tool and uh, database that uh, some of the research I've been doing with Access BC for about the past five years is kind of culminating in with a, a recent research grant that we got from SHRC. What we did today was uh, we took the uh, pilot data collection tool which kind of runs on a smartphone or a, a tablet and we took it out and we're just using it out here at Alice Lake just outside of Squamish. One of the things that uh, we're doing is using the tool and then having some conversations to find ways to improve uh, the use of the data collection tool. Uh, what we want to do when we design a, a new version of the tool is ensure we're really thinking about the end user, the person who might be actually collecting this type of information. So uh, we're out with folks uh, collecting, completing audits, uh, we just audited some parking, we just audited a, a campsite, and then we're just having some conversations about, you know, where was there some uh, friction in the use of the tool, you know, what was intuitive, and we're going to fold all that into to our design development process to, to make sure we have the end user in mind as we do that work. Mm -hmm. So a big part of what we're going to do in the grant is partner with uh, folks like Dr. Wakar Hawk uh, in UNBC's Berg Lab, and they're going to help us use some, uh, you know, tools of computer science to, to advance some of the technology that we're using using to make the collection of, of standards information and the sharing of it uh, hopefully easier for organizations. The ultimate goal is to make changes uh, in um, outdoor tourism and recreation spaces uh, across BC, across Canada, to make them as accessible and inclusive as possible. And we have such an incredible natural endowment here in BC and across Canada. And unfortunately, because of the sometimes the way things are designed and you know sometimes infrastructure legacies that we still live with, that's not usable and equitable uh, for all people. It's really a pleasure to have worked with Access BC and CyBC over the last few years. Um, UNBC has a pretty strong culture of community-based research and I've been really really lucky to work with a group who's uh, so dynamic, does so much work improving uh, access in these types of spaces and the, the partnership has uh, really really been an honor to be a part of.